The winner of the 2022 Booker Prize is the Seven Moons of Mani Almeida. Thank you. Thank you so much, Neil McGregor. So, the winner of the £50,000 2022 Booker Prize for Fiction is Shehan Karuna Tilaka for the Seven Moons of Mali Almeida. Her Majesty the Queen Consort will award the trophy and a handshake from the Chair of Judges and a hug from Neil McGregor. And now the trophy from the Queen Consort. And we might just take a quick photograph as well. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, one minute, right? Uh, I'll try. I'll try my best. Uh, okay. Uh, firstly, thank you to the Booker Foundation, the Booker Prize, um, to the judges for this inspiring, rich and brilliant long list, and, and for this spectacular short list. Um, it's been a hell of a ride, and um, I've been expecting to get off at each stop. No such luck, I'm here at the final stop. Um, to Percival, Elizabeth, No Violet, Claire, and Alan, happy birthday, Alan. Um, it's been an honor and a privilege to be on this magnificent list with you. I, I'm, I'm fans of all your books and fans of you. And without meaning to sound trite, uh, we, we are all winners for being part of this magnificent shortlist. Um, though um, perhaps I might pocket the extra cash if that's okay. Um, I was wondering, can I get that in crypto? Um, just because uh, the British pound is doing marginally better than the Sri Lankan rupee at the moment. Uh, but let's, let's talk later, that's fine. Um, I have many people to thank for this, but uh, none more so than Natanya Jans and Mark Ellingham from Sort of Books. You guys took this on. When other publishers found this, uh, this book um, weird and difficult and strange, which of course it is, uh, but we took it on and we battled with it over the pandemic, and this, this is our win. This is our win. Um, I have to thank um, David Godwin, Kanishka Gupta, Rebecca Weirmouth, Ruth Killick, Philippa and her team, and of course Manasi Subramaniam, Chiki Sarka, Faiza Khan, and Mohammed Hanif, who have advised me and guided me over the years. And I, mostly I have to thank my first time readers who um, put up with so many messy, uh, horrible drafts from me, Deshan Tennakon. Tracy Halsinger, Ravin Fernando, Shana Kamrasinger, Michael Myler, Sean Amrasekara, Govindar, Jan Ramesh, Deseram, and Andrew Fidel Fernando. Yes, they all had to do it in shifts because it was horrible work, but uh, thank you for your encouragement and for your brutal notes. Uh, the book Seven Moons is de dedicated to three ladies. Um, I live with three ladies. That's the kind of rock and roll lifestyle we writers leave, uh, lead. Um, the three ladies are Chula, who used to read to me when I was too young to read for myself, Luca, who lets me read to her at bedtime, and of course, Eranga, who's here tonight, who reads my stuff before anyone else does. Uh, and my wish for the writers in the room and the writers everywhere is that we know how dispiriting and demoralizing a writing life can be. So my wish for you is that you all have three ladies, or three gentlemen, or three non-binaries, or whatever combination you prefer to look after you when the days aren't so good. Uh, thanks to my brother, Lalit, who does all my illustrations, my son, Theo, who is probably doing the haka in his pajamas at the moment, and my father, who's lost the ghostly realms of dementia, uh, but I know he would appreciate this. Uh, to Russell and Sumita Tennakon for their generosity and love, and of course, my lawyers, who are almost as important as the three ladies. Um, Aftap Aziz, Datika Vikramanayaka, maybe you should start charging me now. Um, sure. So Seven Moons of Mali Almeida, it's, it's about a murdered journalist. Um, and I was going to do it Percival Everett style. I was going to read the names of all the journalists, the activists, the politicians, the civilians, the innocents who have been murdered by the state or by those opposing it in my lifetime in Sri Lanka. 
But if I had done that, we'd be here all night. Um, so I was going to read the names of the obituaries from 1989 when the book was set. Activists like Richard de Soisa, Rajini, Dr. Rajini Thiranagama, and Daya Patirana, who featured in this book. But if I'd done that, we would have all missed our trains. And um, I, I, I suspect I'm not traveling by train tonight. I don't uh, think well, you are, Shehan, no, because uh, we've got about um, a couple of minutes before we finish. And I want can to be I, able shall to I wrap up very quickly? Sorry. No, go on. I okay, okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> how many minutes have we got? Seven more? Well, 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 it's less than two minutes. I was going to ask you one question, but please finish. Do you want to ask me the question? I, I'll. Uh, oh, okay, let me just say this. My, my hope for Seven Moons is this. Yes. Um, that in the not too distant future, 10 years or as long as it takes, that it is read in a Sri Lanka that has understood that these ideas of corruption and race baiting and cronyism have not worked and will never work. And that it, it is read in a Sri Lanka, well, I hope it's in print in 10 years, but if it is, I hope it's read in a Sri Lanka that learns from its stories and that Seven Moons will be in the fantasy section of the bookshop and will not be mistaken, next to the dragons and the unicorns, will not be mistaken for realism or political satire. But let me just finally just say to the people of Sri Lanka, this is all I want to say. Me pota mang ogalanta liuwe, meka dilumak rata paraje vela inna kaaleka meka dilumak langadi api nemi vita paraduna kamak ne. Adha Lanka vi minis unga duk vidna, e duk midinna mata ayudha ne. Eat me jaya grane api piligamu, bang api komari loka, T20 kusalane, dinagamu, ai beri. We got the cricket uh, reference in there, I'm afraid. Yes. Ilange, sondangale, emades, kade, hale, kuruvom, kure konde, irupom. Thank you, Stuti, Jayaveva, Nandri. Fantastic. Shehan Karuna Tilaka. Congratulations, the winner of the 2022 Booker Prize for Fiction.